video, we're going to show you how to add a testimonial page. Now, there's three steps to this. One, you're going to want to add a client capture for these testimonials in order to have testimonials. So that page you want to create first. You also then want to have actual testimonials to put in there. So ideally, this will be what the page will look like. Once you get this working, you'll be able to put in your reviews from Zillow, the client testimonials that you've gotten over the years, and you'll be able to create a page where your clients can actually talk about you and review you. So I'm going to show you how to create these. You need two pages, and then there's an extra step to add the pages when you're ready. So we're actually going to come here into Consumer which used to be called sites, and we're gonna click create new site. Now I want it to be on my agent website so that it actually is a page on the website. So we're gonna click create page. Now first we need to actually give it a name. So this case I'm gonna say review us. So first page I wanna do is an actual capture to actually get the testimonials. So inside of the widgets on the right hand side, you will have a testimonial capture page. So I'm gonna click it, add that here. Now, I just need this one thing on here. So we're gonna come to configure widgets. And this is where you actually come to edit the text and then your client will be able to say what they want to say about you. So I'm gonna start with a team name or if you're not a team, put your name in here. Don't leave it with Royals. So I'm gonna say the J team. And then I'm gonna put in there, um, please review us. Now it already has this wonderful paragraph. Thank you for being a help, uh, client to help me leave a testimonial basically. So I'm good with that. How would you rate your experience? And then here's what they wrote for here. So I'm actually good with all this. I'm gonna click save and apply. Now you can change it if you want to. I'm about simplicity and making it easier. So it's gonna say, please review us. Thank you for being a valued client. Fill in this information. And then it will say, how would you rate the experience with the J team. If you don't change that, it's going to say Royals. Then they're going to be able to give me a review, recommend me, and type in what they want, and then they'll preview their testimonial. So first thing we're going to do is save this page. Are you sure you want to publish it and make it visible? Yes. So step one is creating the page. Now what you need to do first is add this page and put some testimonials on there before you do the next step. So we're going to come to site and app settings, still in the consumer tab. We're gonna to come to site pages, and this is where you can go to add a page or remove a page. So we're going to add a page, and it's going to select us to choose one of the pages we just did. So the one I just made was review us this version. I had a previous one I did before. And I'm gonna give the page title, review the J team. You can say review us. Now I want the actual uh, slug to be review us. And then the description will be something along those lines. Save the page changes. Now I can rearrange the order of this. So I actually want this to be above the market analysis, or right above download app. Save changes. And now what's gonna happen is now I'm gonna come to my page and now I'm gonna have a new section that says review us, or review the J team, I should say. So there we go. So this is the first thing we're gonna put in. Now I went ahead and got some testimonials for this. So we're gonna use my first one. Sharon's the first name, Brown. Don't worry, it's gonna let you pick there. Address, she's actually in um, Cherville, Indiana. This was from 2014 five stars and her review us comes from my testimonial here. She added this on my Facebook, put in my review. Would you recommend this? Yes. Preview the testimonial. Here's what it's going to look like. Submit. And now it's been submitted. So I want to have at least one for this to work. So that was the first page. So we're going to come back now and now we're ready to add the next page to create one to show the testimonials. So now I'm going to say create new site on my agent site, create page. We're going to name this one as client testimonials. Now I just wanna bring over the testimonial. Now you have two options. A carousel will basically be one testimonial and slide through and slide through. So it'll be like a slideshow, or you can have a list of them. I am now that I've looked at both of these, I like the list version. That's what this one is. So we're gonna use that list and you can have as many as you want. So when I bring over the testimonial list and drag it over, that's all I have to do to then configure this. So this page is just gonna have testimonials, configure the widget, 
Here's the first thing it's going to ask. What is there? And I'm going to say from our clients. I like that. From our clients. Intro tax is going to be the best compliment we can get is a review and referral from our clients. Please take a moment to share your experience. Okay, now what do I want in here? First name, last initial, city, client since, neighborhood. I'll go ahead and take that out. Now here are the two that I have. I already had one entered before and shared. So if you don't have any, this could be blank for you. So if I browse them, here are the ones we're gonna add. Click continue, save and apply, and here will be my list now. So I've got mine from Nina, I've got mine from Sharon, and now it's gonna keep creating this page here. I'm gonna come back because I also wanna add one other thing. I wanna make sure there's a contact us form at the bottom of this, just so I can say, hey, if you need anything, you can use this. So I'm gonna say contact the J team. Perfect, so I've added this information from our clients and a contact us form at the bottom. Use the correct phone number, so it'll be this one. Save and apply save changes and we're going to publish this page so now i've created my next page so the last step is to come to site and app settings site pages and now we're going to add the page that actually has the testimonials so add a page at the bottom of my list will be the newest one client testimonials continue we're going to call this one client testimonials we're gonna call this one testimonials for my slug. This is what people will actually go to. And my description will be here from our clients on what their experience was working with the J team with Keller Williams Realty. Something along that line, save changes. Now it's published, I'm gonna rearrange the order of this to be right after the review. Actually, I'll do it above it. Client testimonials and then the review of the J team. Save the pages, come to my website, refresh, and now in my menu, I will have my client testimonials and there they are. From our clients, the best compliment we can get is a review and a referral from our clients. Please take a moment to share your experience. And here we go, here is what we're seeing with what they had said. And there's the testimonials so far. I will keep adding more to these because now I have my review the J team section to add information and to capture more of these. And that's it. So hopefully you found value in creating these two pages. You can add as many as you want. If you found value in this, go ahead and leave it a like. Leave me a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And as always, you can follow me on YouTube and KDB Connect today.